Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to send a Slack message right from your Google Sheet using Google Apps Script. That is what we are going to see in this video. Basically we are going to create a method to send a message uh, to the Slack from Sheet and it's up to you how you are going to use that method. If you want to send a Slack message on a, a daily basis at a particular time you can make use of the trigger or if you want to send a message on the even change on a sheet you can use the even change method on google sheet so it's completely up to you but uh, right now in this video i'm going to show you how to create an app on the slack and how to make use of the webhook on the slack in google app script to send a message from google sheet that is what we are going to see in this video there are few prerequisites that you need to do. One is you should have a Slack with active workspace. And I installed Slack on my desktop with workspace name Amarindas. And it has a few auto-generated channels. And now go back to this Slack website. And all you need to do is go to api.slack.com. Make sure that you have signed in with the workspace that you currently signed on your desktop and here click on create a custom app so let's give a name let's name this app as alert sheet and you have to select the development workspace my development slack workspace is amarindas that you can see here click on create app add feature and functionality so here you need to select incoming webhook because we want to post a message from external source and our external source is this google sheet so this incoming webhook is the appropriate feature for us to send a message and you need to activate this incoming webhook so click on this toggle button and your webhook is activated this is your sample curl and we are going to use this curl to send a message from google sheet and uh, um, so if you look at this webhook url it is not yet generated and before that let me create a channel where i need to send a message from my google sheet click on create a channel and let's name this channel as sheet notification and description is completely optional and you can make it as a private or public so it's up to you i'm going to make this channel as a private and click on create and if you want to add multiple people you can add right now or maybe later so just click on the skip for now so we have created a channel called sheet notification now go back here and at the bottom you will find a button called add new webhook to workspace click on that and where should alert sheet post so our app name is alert sheet and i want this alert sheet app to post on my newly created ch channel called sheet notification now click on allow now the webhook url is generated with the active url so all you need to do is just click on copy and go back to your google sheet now open the script editor go to tools and click on the script editor let's name the project as slack message click on rename so now the project is renamed to slack message i'm going to paste the curl here and i'm going to comment it out because uh, i'm I'm going to make use of this curl to generate a method here let's name this function as send slack message that's my function and we are going to make use of the url fetch app to make a post request right from our google sheet to send a message to this particular channel if you look at right here uh, we don't have any message but soon we will get a message right from this uh, google sheet so now let's define URL here and the URL is we can copy this entire URL and now we have to uh, create a variable called params and inside the params you have to define the method 
and the method type is post that you can see here in the curl request and you have to define the content type let's name this as content type and the content type is application slash json just copy that and put it over here and then you have to define the payload what exactly you need to send on this post request so just define the payload and the payload type should be a string so i'm going to use json.stringify and inside this method i'm going to pass the object so if you look at the payload whatever uh, that comes inside this hyphen hyphen data is the actual payload so just copy that here and put it over here so json.stringify and inside the curly braces we put the json object that we want to send now we are done with url and params let's create a one more variable called const send message and here i'm going to make use of the url fetch app dot fetch and here it accepts two params one is a url which we already defined and the next one is a params that is also we defined here let's name this as prams i'll also change here now just check for the response code send message dot get response code so this return the response code now i'm going to print both send message log as well as response code send message and response code let's save this method now before clicking on the run go back to your channel sheet notification and ensure that you didn't get any message now click on the run and you have to give authorization for the very first time when you are calling this method so click on the review permission select the gmail and click on the advanced and click on go to and click on allow So that's it. We got OK as a response and the response code is 200. And right corner, you also saw the notification. Let me open the sheet and here you go. So it sent the actual text message that we have passed. If you want to check once again, let me add a text called Google App Script message. And now click on the run. You don't need to authorize because a one-time authorization should be fine for Google Apps Kit and here you go. The same was posted to the Slack channel. So that's it, as I mentioned, like how you are going to uh, call this method, is it is completely up to you. If you want to send a Slack message uh, by getting a value from any sheet, you, can, you just need to change the value that you have to pass here and if you want to send a slack message daily basis at a particular time then you have to make use of the trigger so you can modify this particular method depending on your use case that's it for this video if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye